I am joined in studio by uh, the West Coast Conference Player of the Year, back to back. Shaylee Gonzalez is on BYU Sports Nation. Shaylee, how you doing? Doing good. Thanks for having me. Congratulations on winning again. Thank you. I you, appreciate it. It wasn't co this time. It was just straight up you. Straight me. Yep. <laughs> What's it like to win Player of the Year back to back times? I mean, I just feel super grateful and super blessed, and you know, it goes to show like how much hard work I've put in and. I wouldn't be here without my teammates, too. They pushed me as well, like, on the court. And um, when I found out, I was super excited. And, um, you know, I couldn't believe that I got it another year. But also, too, I was like, dang, I wish Pace could have got it, too. I wish there was a co, too, because I there was know a, she That was a fun conversation too. we were having of, yeah. yeah, there could be co. Who knows? Yeah, so I – because I know she works so hard, too, and yes. she deserves it as well, and she's a senior. And so I was like – I would have been, you know, just as much as grateful as she got it, too. And to be co would have been awesome, too. Now, we were told that there's this unique voting rules where each school says, this is our candidate, mm -hmm. right? So you couldn't even submit two names. Right. I wish the coaches could just say, here's who we think it is. Mm -hmm. But I think what they're doing is, well, if you two each got three votes and one, another player from another school got four, that they would win. But it's like, well, shoot. Yeah. How, that'd be... That mess with that. So uh, yeah. it's weird and complicated and whatever. Yeah. Um, and and so how did you find out? Um, so I just found out from my coach. He just told the team yesterday. In front of the team? Yeah. After all practice? All the awards that everyone got. Yep. That's cool. Yeah. That's very cool. Did everyone get what you wanted there? Um, we felt like Tegan should oh, have been yeah. a little no, more. Oh, yeah. We for sure thought that, well, at least like our, <laughs> like si our six girls who play a lot, they should have gotten at least something. Something. Yeah. Yes. Tegan should have got first team and... But, I mean, it is what it is, and yeah. we just got to go in the tournament and just kill it. Listen, you guys are used to this year, especially in the polls and the seating, just being mm -hmm. like, oh, okay. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Like, all right, fine, we'll just prove it on the court. Yeah, it is what it is. I feel like we definitely want to go out in the NCAA tournament and to make a point, prove a point, and, you know, we'd like a little bit more respect on our name, and so we're going to go out and prove to everyone what we really deserve and – Hopefully the next year that we'll be able to have a little bit more higher ranking. Do you think uh, maybe that, I guess, why do you think that is? Is it the perceived schedule from voters, which it isn't bad. I would mm -hmm. argue it's good. Obviously they're catering to power five teams yeah. and you won't have to worry about that in two seasons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do think it's because of the power five teams. And um, I mean, we have BYU women's basketball. Like we've just worked our way up and um, winning conference and beating more, like teams in the NCAA tournament, like upsets and um, just try, trying to make a statement. And I think that's super important for us as we build up BYU women's basketball. You have a chance to go 27-2 and two if you win the semifinal in the championship mm -hmm. game. And then it's like, okay, how can you not be a four seed at that point? Yeah. Right now you're projected as a five. Granted, in women's hoops, there's only one bacchatologist, Charlie Cream. Uh -huh. Appreciate what he does. Wish there were more, so we had yeah. more sample size here. Right. But uh, do you guys expect to be a top four seed should you win the WCC? Oh, yeah. I think we should. We definitely deserve it. And, um, you know, it would be so awesome to be able to host here and get that arena just filled with people. And, you know, that last game, the senior night, was amazing, mm. having over 6,000 fans there. And um, that was the most we've ever had in program history. And so – um, just having that many people come watch us and support us just means so much to us. Like we just look up in the in the stands and we're like, wow, like this many people are coming to watch us play. Um, and, you know, that game was the most exciting, fun game I've ever played in. And, you know, to be able to host an NCAA tournament game would be awesome. And to get more fans to come out to that would be great. It was the culmination of so many amazing things. Mm -hmm. Obviously, senior night, the season you guys have been having. Yeah. Uh, you know, Gonzaga. Oh, yeah. Black oh, Unis, yeah. my yep. personal mm -hmm. favorite. My favorite, too. Okay. Yep. Yeah. That was that was an amazing experience. Yeah. Okay. You had a busy weekend. Yes. T tell us about it. Yeah. So I went back home for a couple of days um, to go watch my brother play in his state game. Uh, he's a junior. Um, and they were the number six seed, and they played the number one seed. And they upset them, and they won nice. by six, I think. Six seed, six point win. Yeah. Yep. So they played great, and they won that trophy. So. Okay, what do you, did you win a state championship in high school? Did any of your other siblings like where does this title ring yeah. in the family? Um, so I won state my junior year, and that was actually when Lauren Gustin was there in Arizona. She her family had moved down for a year at another school. Um, at so she lived in Utah and then moved down to Arizona for a year. So our she junior year, we you? won. No, we won it oh. together. Oh, together. Yeah, we. Won I didn't it realize you were on the same high school team. Yeah, yeah. So we won state wow. together my junior year. 
Um, you connected then, to the hip into the Big 12. Yep, yep, That's uh-huh. pretty cool. Yep. And then senior year, um, she moved back to Utah. Um, we did. We were the number one seed in state, but we ended up losing. It was the worst game ever. So I'd had, rather not talk about it. <laughs> if you'd had Lauren, you would have won. Oh the game. yeah, yeah, yeah. We were Lauren just did, we were just Lauren missing a big. Notice. So thank you, Lauren. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry to bring that up. Let's talk about more exciting things. Um, okay, over the weekend, BYU played Grand Canyon uh, in in volleyball, and I said, "Hey, can I get some pictures of your parents who yeah. played at GCU?" Yep. Little connection there, uh, Josh and Candice. Uh, were they ever as good as you are now? No. <laughs> um, I definitely feel like basketball is a lot different now. And I grew up, you know, playing a little bit more competitive um, in club. And um, I definitely would <laughs> beat them one on one if I could right now. <laughs> I love them to death. But I think just them being my coaches, like growing up, has made me definitely like the player I am today. Um, I'm super grateful for them. And um, but yeah, so they both played at Grand Canyon University, and that's where they met. So. Did you ever think about going to GCU? Was that that like when I grew up? That's where I wanted to go, actually. Yeah. And then when did when did BYU come in the conversation? Um, when I was fifteen, I went to their elite camp, and that was the first time I went to a BYU camp, and that's when it all happened. I'm asking you questions I know the answer to because (laughs) Deep Blue Podcast. Go check it out. I had Shaylee on. It was really awesome. Like an hour. It was great. Um, let's let's talk about uh, the journey to this point, this team this year for you Mm -hmm. take me back to when you tear your acl after your freshman year Mm -hmm. and the road you've been on and how hard it was to get to this point right now where you're perhaps leading the best team in BYU history yeah um i mean it wasn't easy it might look like that but you know there's there's highs there's lows um you go through things and you know you just got to overcome those things and stay strong mentally and physically and um after my um after sitting out that acl year um I just really wanted to prove a point and to, you know, come back even stronger and to even fight more. And um, I think I've done a great job in that. And, um, you know, we we made it to the WCC tournament last year, but we unfortunately lost by 0.6 seconds, which was the yeah. worst game ever. Yeah. Um, but then we went to the NCAA tournament, upset, um, and then we lost our next game. But, I mean, we're just we just keep climbing every single year, and that's my goal is to just keep getting better and better every single year. And I know that this team is super special this year and that we can make it far in the NCAA tournament. So I'm super excited. Uh, 0.6 seconds in quotations. Um, <laughs> it wasn't even – she didn't even get it off in 0.6 seconds. That's what I think. But The trigger was slow yeah. there. Um, let, let's talk about the NCAA tournament. You mentioned you, you want to go further. Does that mean – Hey, we're going for the Sweet 16 plus Mm -hmm. because you know you're in. That's right now. That's probably a nice feeling, Mm -hmm. but obviously you want to maximize the seed because the key to winning in the NCAA tournament feels like historically matchups. And hey, the higher the seed, Mm -hmm. the worse the team you're going to play. Granted, everyone's good at that level. Right? Yeah. I mean, ever since the beginning of the season, we've been chanting or cheering Final Four. Um, and so that's our goal. We want to make it to the Final Four, and we know Mm. we can. We can definitely upset a bunch of teams and. we're so stacked and we're so deep in this team and um, anyone can have their night. Anyone can step up and play and have their, um, anyone can go off really. And so uh, we're just really looking forward to it. I love it. I love it. Okay. uh, We did the top five Tuesday. We did the top five plays of the women's basketball (laughs) season. Maybe you saw it. Uh I think you had three of the five. Uh, What are some of your favorite plays from this season? Because it's been an unbelievable year for (laughs) Thank you. Great plays, too. Yeah, a lot of those plays were definitely definitely my favorites. Probably the very first one, I think, was the behind the back (sighs) between the screen. So sick. That one was pretty pretty (laughs) sweet. Um, I think that one got on, yeah, ESPN top 10. And so that was pretty awesome. But, yeah. Yeah, and we've got that clip. It's at the very end. We'll show it in a second. But yeah, and a variety of unis, by the way. We got Royal. We got White. Oh, a little hezzy there. I like that. Yeah. Okay. The black, the black uniforms are definitely my favorite, though. So good. I'd wear that those every single game if we could. So good. Okay. Um, the behind the back was amazing. The one hander from Maria was it? Oh yeah, Maria makes the best passes to me. We're we're just like connected like that, and yes. she just tosses it to me. I just I don't even know how he caught that. Did you? And I caught it with my left hand too. Yes. And I'm not left-handed. I'm right-handed. But you're good with your left hand still. Yeah. You never thought to put your right hand on it. You're just like, eh. All I was the like, way. I'm gonna make this look even more fancier. So I did. <laughs> and let's be One-handed. honest. If you miss that, it's like, eh, whatever, <laughs> you know. But you made yeah. it, and it was it was incredible. Okay, here it is. Well, I was on the run, and so I was just like, I'm just gonna throw it up and see what happens. <laughs> but Man. no, yeah. 
Okay, so let's in. let's go back to the behind the back. Nice. We'll, we'll pull it up here. Oh, oh act, super slow mo. Oh my gosh! It just came perfectly right into my left hand, so I was like, I'm just gonna throw it up. And you're excellent at in. finishing in transition, Thank and you throw it real high off the glass. I love. It. Okay, here's the behind the back. Yeah, this one. This is dirty. Viewer discretion oh. advised. For violent dribbling. Yeah. I mean, that was incredible. <laughs> um, how about your teammates? Favorite play from one of your teammates this year that sticks out? Um, probably the one we played when we played Gonzaga and Maria threw um, that dart pass right through yes. literally everyone, and it went straight in my hands, and I just threw it up and got an and one. Just the vision of this team, the the uh, communication, the sharing. like The yeah. excitement. Yeah, you're exactly yeah, right. everything. Okay, I teased it earlier, but let's talk about the pros and cons of waiting until Monday. Mm-hmm. Obviously, the pro is you just show up, you got one game to get to the title game. Right. The con, everyone else is kind of playing, getting used to the court. Everyone's there, yeah. Is there, is there anything, are you anxious at all to be like, ah, wish we could play earlier? Or are you like, no, 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 we're good. We'll show up Monday, mm-hmm. and we'll be good. I mean, we have more time to practice here at uh, the Annex. Um, I mean, it we do have we don't play on Sunday or practice on Sunday, so we have that disadvantage. Um, so we'll probably have a little shoot around, maybe um, either Sunday or Monday, probably Monday morning. Um, but yeah, I mean, when you guys there leave? are Saturday. Times. Yeah, we leave Saturday. Nice. Yeah, we leave Saturday. So um, we'll just relax Sunday, get mentally prepared, and then play on Monday. Probably it, versus Portland, I'm guessing. Probably Portland. Yeah. Yeah, and with Andrews out. That's a different kind of Portland team, but they're mm-hmm. still really good. Yeah. I mean, right? they did Alex still Fel- beat us without her. So. Right. She got hurt in that game, which is crazy, right? Yeah. yeah. I think she tore her ACL. I think so, too. Yeah. Well, uh, we're excited to cover the tournament. We're going to do a gajillion games, none of which include you guys, until Monday. <laughs> uh, but And the men on Friday. Right. But uh, good luck with everything. Safe travel Saturday. And let's give you some BYU Sports Nation karma. Awesome. Thank you so much. We'll Thanks see you Monday me. down there. Thanks. Okay. Shaley Gonzalez, WCC Player of the Year.